Hi, this is the last series for our basic 2D drafting and in this tutorial, we shall be using our output from our previous exercise on simple title block. And currently, I have assigned these layers. So please assign them also on your simple title block exercise drawings for your convenience following this tutorial. So on my layers properties manager, these are the layers that I have provided. So I have a layer for TB border. So this one, the magenta. And a TB for point one, which I use color red. A TB point four layer. And of course, colored cyan. And for uh, layer TB point six, again, magenta. So please assign them so that you would have a uh, smooth uh, or convenient way of uh, following our tutorial. Now, we could plot or print our drawings either here in the model tab or here on the layout tab. But for me, I only print here on the model tab if the output is just for single or simple drawings with basic layout and normally I print directly from the model tab either for test prints and for printing an initial drawing as my starting point for design exploration like for example I would uh, create first here in AutoCAD the lot plan and then map out the uh, design controls prescribed by building codes and then print that as uh, several copies and then use those uh, printouts as my canvas for my schemes so if you're done copying the uh, layers and assigning them to the uh, appropriate lines let's close the uh, layer properties manager and zoom out a little and position your windows or your drawings, the first drawing here uh, on the center. And then let's try first the plotting here in the model space. Okay, so similar with uh, Microsoft Office, we could uh, simply click or press Control P to bring out the plot from model dialog box. Okay, so this dialog box for plotting or printing your drawings. Well, anyway. Uh, plotting or printing is uh, similar. Plotting is just for bigger printers and printing is for uh, smaller plotters. Okay? And anyway, you should follow the sequence as slated here on the uh, plot dialog box. So we start from top. So we start from page setup. Since we have not created yet any uh, setup, so we leave it. Okay? So we go to the next step. First is assigning your printer. So if you click on this uh, down arrow, uh, it will bring out the different installed printers and virtual printers on your system. Okay. So for me, I have here my physical printer, Epson L220 series. You may have a different uh, physical printer, or if you don't have a physical printer, we have a virtual printers for example we have adobe pdf if you have adobe okay if you have installed your adobe softwares then you may have an adobe pdf uh, virtual printer or platter and the rest are uh, pre-installed with autocad okay so the other platters here are virtual printers or platters installed or pre-installed with autocad so let us select uh, so that we will all be having the same plotter. We just use this one, drawing to PDF dot PC3. Okay. Uh, since we are using different versions of AutoCAD, I don't know if the other uh, plotters are present also. So we just go here, drawing to PDF dot PC3. Okay. So click on this to assign that as our platter or printer okay and then 
leave this as is first. And let's go to the paper size. Okay. So since this is an A3 title block, we select the appropriate size. It must be ISO A3 and it must be in landscape. So we choose 420 by 297 mm. So click on this ISO A3 420 297. So after assigning the plotter, we assign the paper size and then we assign the plot area. So currently the default is it will plot the display. Okay? So let's uh, try to see what does it uh, prints. Okay? So we click on preview here. So preview and that's the preview. Okay? So we did not calibrate if it is landscape or portrait. So let's close it first here. And then on the right pane, if this uh, pane doesn't appear, click on this more options icon. Okay? So click this to expand. So we choose on landscape. And then we remove the fit to paper first. Remove that. And then center the plot. And let's see what will happen. The annotation scale is not equal to the plot scale. Normally, this happens when you plot directly on your uh, model tab. So let's just continue. And it prints the drawings shown on your drawing area. So let's look at our drawing area. And that's being printed. Okay, what is being shown on your uh, drawing area that will be plotted. So to plot it properly, we click again this drop down arrow and let's use window. Oh, by the way, we could use the extents, but of course, we want to print it in a uh, proper scale. Okay, we could use also limits, but we have not discussed limits. Normally, when we start AutoCAD, uh, the beginning of your tutorials should have started with limits okay but i see it not uh, usable nowadays we could just create the uh, bounding uh, paper as we did here on our title block so we replaced limits with this rectangle okay so this white rectangle we did not assign any layer so it's uh, the default layer zero represents the limits okay however we could not use this as limits because it was not applied in our current drawing so we shall use window okay so click on window and then select the outer rectangle so from that corner towards this corner i'll click that and you could see here on the uh, thumbnail the current appearance okay so the scale is custom and one is to two units point something in millimeters since we drew this in a one is to one we have to print it also in one is to one okay so we select the scale which is one is to one however the red mark appears here because it uh, process the printable area set forth for this particular paper so let's try and check at the preview uh, the other parts of the title block it's not uh, being printed because of the printable area set forth for that particular paper so we need to go back and then go to properties 